Hey y'all, what's good? Today I'm doing a little thrift haul, a little try on moment, okay? A little something different. Also, I just wanted to say my bad for not uploading earlier this week like I planned. There was actually a major winter storm here in Texas. My household lost power for 24 hours. It was very, very stressful, considering it was a natural disaster. Hope y'all can understand. Now, all these people on YouTube have been promoing ThreadUp and I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I got a bunch of clothes over here that I ordered from ThreadUp and actually some in a package on the floor. So uh, let's just let's just get into this. Ooh, it's a pat like a floral pattern jacket. We're gonna incorporate this into the try on today. I'll show y'all what it looks like. And now I'm going to get naked. Oh, my neighbor can see through. See, this is the hard thing about filming and having to have all the windows open because when I'm doing stuff like this, everyone just sees my, my ass. <laughs> okay, we're in the clear. I don't normally wear flowy tops like this because I have really big boots and so it becomes a little unwieldy. I don't wanna have to throw one over one shoulder and one over the other shoulder just to get around. Okay, so this is how I've chosen to style this. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it would maybe look better tucked in. Yeah, but then you lose that flowy thing. But then now I just look like a little blue blob. So this is the fit. I got this top and I'll put all the prices for everything. I don't remember, I'll have to go into my account. So this is how much this costs. Um, so I got this nice little flowy top. It's from Topshop. On the bottom of the shorts, they have this little Ralph Lauren polo um, logo, which, you know, we love. We love purchasing items that create the facade that we belong to a higher class than we do because that's how you gain notoriety and importance in a society obsessed with class and money and wealth. Haha, ha. but on a budget, you know what I mean? And then this top is super cute. It's knit, so it has this really nice, like homemade feel to it. Were these here the whole time? Wow, messing up my shop with these dang hangers. You dang hangers. It kind of looks like I'm wearing like an Ariana Grande dress. All right, so this is the next find. I know it's not very colorful, which is my typical vibe, but I figured this would be great for maybe a more serious event or something that's more like professional where super bright, loud colors like I normally do wouldn't necessarily be the best thing to wear. I also really love this neckline because I don't really have any necklines like this and this double effect on the sleeve where it actually unbuttons and these really pretty like linen covered buttons up here. And even if I don't use it in its original state, I think I could change it into a two piece. So like a crop top to here and then maybe like a cute skirt and bring it up a little bit like that, like a mini skirt. Ooh. Maybe I'll do some sort of like alterations video. I did actually, let me show y'all. I did actually just buy my very first sewing machine. I have the facilities now to do alterations and DIYs. So let me know if that's something y'all would be interested in. Oh, I'm just now realizing this. It also has this fun little slit in the back. That's a little scandalous. Is this in the front? Party in the back. This is like one of the not so fun parts of doing these alone, having to wrench your shoulder to get, having to wrench your shoulder to get the dress off. Come on. Ah, independent woman. All right, this black top is not thrifted, but it's just a basic black tee that I have. So I can show you a couple pairs of pants um, and shorts. So I have these green shorts. They are a bit too big. See, what happens for me is fours fit my waist right, but sixes fit my butt right, because I do have a little junk in my trunk. So it, it is a bit of a, a dilemma. This is a six and it's way too big at the waist. It needs to be tailored and brought in uh, quite a bit. Pockets on a skirt, that's a game changer, dude. Like, pockets on a skirt? You know, I could put my pepper spray in here so that if anyone tries to fuck with me while I'm out taking photos, they'll know that I'm not the one. Seriously though, I've had so many experiences going out and taking photos of myself for like Instagram or for different YouTube videos and I just get like harassed by men. So I actually have started carrying pepper spray on me. Similar dilemma with the shorts. The waist is just way too, too big on me. So it would be great to have a little alteration to bring that in. It would make it look more tailored and nice. 
Let's throw on this new jacket with it. It smells okay. Normally I wash things before I put them on for the first time, but uh, we're living life on the edge today, folks. This is cute. Ooh. It's giving me very much like 50s housewife. It's giving me green thumb queen. It's giving me 50 year old woman who just got divorced from her husband because she realized that she doesn't need him anymore and she doesn't have to make herself miserable to make the relationship work because that's what she's socially demanded to do. And she's living her best life living in a rural area wearing this cute little flower jacket while she's watering her plants with little sun visor on. That's what this is giving me. There are ways to sort of play with the styling. Like I could button it up and then put some sort of belt around it and do more like a 50s, 60s silhouette type of thing with a peplum. I also love that this pattern has so many different colors in it because I feel like I could wear a shirt under it or pants that were like any one of these colors, which gives me a lot of versatility. The gram is not ready for the photos I'm going to take in this number, all right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, this skirt looks super nice and it's very tailored. It fits me well. This is a size four. So I think I'm actually four. Sometimes I just buy sixes because I know I can alter them down to where I need them to be. But it's still got a lot of movement. It's not too tight on me. Yeah, it's nice. It's got pockets again. They're very shallow though. Like I can only fit half of my hand in there. It is still like a bit large on me though. Like it's comfortable and I don't think you can tell when it's laying down. But if I actually pull the fabric, it's like, this much extra. So this could also stand to be tailored so that it fits just a little bit nicer. These pants were literally made for my body. They were crafted by the gods. Aphrodite herself made these out of gold silk that is somehow black and then sent it down from the heavens for this app. Okay, actually they don't fit me perfectly. There's like a little gap at the back where they don't quite fit right. These jeans make me feel like a million dollars. I'm not someone who typically wears a lot of patterns, but I've been trying to diversify my outfits because I've sort of found that when you just have like solid color, solid color, solid color, and no patterns or different textures to break it up, it can kind of feel a little boring. So I think this sort of corduroy material that's more um, velvety uh, with those lines makes a look a little bit more dynamic. All of my pants are pretty much skinny jeans because I grew up in the era of skinny jeans and I've been wearing basically the same jeans since I was in high school. So it's about time that I started to upgrade to different kinds of materials. I love this gingham, ging, gingham, that's not right, gingham, gingham? What a weird word that is. Like I look like I'm about to go to the equestrian ring and hop on my horse named Poteen and do a couple, a little bit of cantering around the ring, all right? Just, where's, where's my, like imagine this is a riding cap and I'm on a horse right now. <laughs> A detail that I really love about this shirt is how structured it is. Like the arms have this extra little stitch across them with this bit of fabric. So it's really structured on this part. And then on the back, there are all these buttons, additional buttons that you can put together to make it more cinched. So if I put all the buttons up, it would fit me a lot nicer and give me a better silhouette. I think this is actually originally part of like a suit set, but this is just one half of it. So what I really love about this is how structured everything is. You can tell it's made with nice materials. And I love the collar detail on this. I don't know if it's actually meant to stand up, but I actually like this interesting thing because I feel like this shape right here is quite unique. And it's versatile. I just put the collars down and now it's doing this whole different thing. I look like a 35 year old mom going to pick her kids up from soccer practice. <laughs> This is much more preppy than I intended. I liked this shirt though, because it has this extra white line on the pocket, which sort of gives it like a pajama top feel. And I think that was maybe in fashion a while ago, like wearing sort of pajama sets, but out and about, like they were more like outfits. I'll, I'll find a photo to try to explain what it is that I'm saying. Again, I probably tuck in the shirt and maybe put some kind of belt around it. We probably wouldn't wear these two things together, but separately, totally, I think these pants would look great and be tailored in a little bit. So maybe I can make them more high-waisted than they are. Like a little V-shaped moment without giving me a weird camel toe. I feel like this is something that I would see in a rom-com that like the love interest who's a guy would be wearing to go and like raise a boombox above his head to like tell the girl that he loves her. 
and I love how many pockets there are. There's so many pockets. Like there are these ones right here, and then if you unbuckle these babies, there are these ones in here. I just, you know, we love pocket diversity. And this whole outfit is giving me like a 70s vibe a little bit. Recently, I've been very into that like long collar 70s vibe. I think it is so cool, so fun. Or like those V-neck collared off shirts. I think they're really, really, I think they're really, really fresh. And I'm, uh, I'm feeling that. Okay, this is always a struggle. Will I be able to do this without ruining my entire look? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a little itchy, but I love the color. It's super vibrant and it's got these cool like fold over collars. So the next couple items are much more spring, summertime vibes. I figured once those seasons start to roll around and get closer, more people are gonna be trying to buy clothes for those seasons. So I started to buy a little bit now so they wouldn't all get taken up. All right, this is way out of my comfort zone because normally I don't really wear dresses at all unless it's some sort of formal occasion that I'm wearing them for. So like a casual dress like this for an everyday is not something I would typically do. But I saw the bright color and the fun polka dot moment and I thought, she's a winner. I do kind of feel like I look a bit blobbish in this though so just to add a little bit more shape back to it I think it would look great with a belt. It could also look really great as a two-piece. This also could be a nightie like if I was just extra and I wanted to go to sleep in a nightie like this like good night. It works! So this is the next dress. Don't worry, she's gonna get cuter. And it came also with this really nice ribbon. Maybe even put the ribbon in the back. That could be super cute. And I don't know if I'd exactly pair this with this dress, but I also got this like shell covering. I think that's what they're called. So there's this little clasp on the top and I'm just putting it through. Come on, baby. It also zips up, but I don't know if I would necessarily use this function. And it's definitely also something that you would see like a 50 year old woman wearing, but I think I have an obsession with just taking like clothes that older women would wear and wearing them too because I think they're cool and we stigmatize like older women's fashion for no reason other than we just live in a very ageist society. Why are certain clothes made for certain ages? Why do people feel like once they turn 50 like they can't wear a mini skirt anymore? Like if you want to do that, cool. And vice versa, I'm in my 20s and I want to wear this like thing that was maybe for like a 50 year old and that's also cool. You know, just breaking down stigmas and offering way too much social commentary in one video. Okay, so with this dress, it's a little bit more floaty, but same sort of technique. I'm gonna zip it up halfway in the back, and I'm gonna pull the girls up to where I want them. Not that they're terribly far down, but you know, you want them to be up to your neck, apparently, because that's what we want as a society. Pray that I don't catch my skin in the thing. And then I'm ready. As it is, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It could be turned into a two-piece. This top has really great details, with all these lines and folds that are here. So this would be like a really natural cutting off point because it's right around my waist to make it into a two piece. Pockets, this dress has pockets. And I have one more dress. It's definitely giving me early 2000s Hollister dress energy. And I love these little ruffle like ruche details here and this nice like stream effect down. These are really hard to make, it's pretty. I hope this gave you some style inspo and I'll see y'all next week with another video. Maybe one including this fancy new sewing machine. Who knows? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, my hair is stuck in the thing. Oh no. Oh, ah. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs>